Hey guys, it's Gary on the topic today that's on everybody's mind. What's this big change in the MLS? First of all, the change only affects the CMLS, the Consolidated Multiple Listing Service here in the Midlands of South Carolina. This is not a change nationally or otherwise. So if you're in Hilton Head, Charleston, Myrtle Beach, uh, the upstate, doesn't change your MLS. However, you still need to listen to this legal tip because it goes to a larger concept about the purpose of the MLS. And I'm pretty sure y'all probably have the same rule there, but you need to check your rules to see what it says. Now, let's talk about what the rules are. So we've got a lot of questions coming in about what these rules changes are and why. There's a change in the rule that basically does not allow you anymore to use MLS stats to compare yourself to another agent. Now, let's drill down on that for a second. What is the purpose of the MLS? The purpose of the MLS is not competition. It never has been. It's not, it's not in its bylaws. It's not in its preamble. It's not in its purpose. It's not in whatever its mission is. The mission is cooperation. That's always been the purpose of an MLS is to foster cooperation amongst real estate agents to get properties listed and sold. So the fact that it's kind of being used now with competition goes against the whole purpose of the MLS and this eliminates this. The second thing that the reason is they want to empower real estate agents. So let me explain that. Two things are going to result from this change. Previously, before this change, it, it was arguable that a real estate agent could not provide your client stats about a community, a neighborhood, things of that nature. It was there was some the language wasn't very good on that. They've cleaned that language up. And now, without a doubt, you can share neighborhood information, community information with your client derived from the MLS. That's good because it empowers you because what's happening is your clients here on the national media, they hear on Zillow, real estate's down 37%. But what that is, is nationwide. And that brings in California and that brings in New York and all these other places that are experiencing a greater downturn. Whereas your community or your neighborhood may only be experiencing a 10% or a 5% downturn. Heck, some streets probably in some neighborhoods have had no downturn. And so this allows you to now bring that information, those stats and present that. So that's a fantastic change that has now empowered you as a real estate agent to provide information. Remember, I always talk about how real estate agents provide information. You're our teachers. That's what you do now. You are providing this information and advising, counseling and advocating for your clients. That's what separates you as real estate agents. Now, the second aspect of this, because the, the goal of real estate under the MLS is cooperation, not competition, you may not use the stats in there to compare yourself, rank yourself against others. I like that. We have too many billboards throughout town and, and ads and marketing where people claim they're number one. Well, number one in what? Number one in Elgin, number one in Pontiac, number one in Gilbert. They just put billboards up claiming they're number one. No stat showing that. And then MLS gets a lot of phone calls going so so-and-so has claimed they're number one, but this person's actually number one. Then they call that person and goes, well, I never said I was number one in the city. I was actually talking about I was number one in this little area, this community. MLS does not have a police force. They do not have an investigator force like they have at LLR that does a great job for LLR. So it's a waste of their time dealing with these petty uh, arguments. So what it does also is that by eliminating that, they eliminate the competition aspect of MLS and would go back to competition. You can still claim you're number one if you've got the Zillow stats or whatever stats. You just need to state who you are. And if you feel somebody is making false advertisement, then you aren't taking this to MLS because it's one of their rules. They don't, you can't use their information. You can go to LLR or wherever you feel like you need to go to the, the real estate uh, realtors association. But the good the other thing you cannot do is when you're sitting in a meeting with your client, you may share stats about the neighborhood. You may share your stats. You may show that you sold 60 houses this year and the average sales price was $300,000. But what you can't do is when that real estate agent walked out five minutes before you, you can't sit there and go, well, I saw you were talking to John Doe before me. And by the way, I sold 60 houses and John Doe sold 10. So I'm six times better than they are. First of all, it's bad form. Your clients don't care. It's not making you look any better. They actually make you look petty in my opinion, but that's not what MLS was ever intended for. So can't do that anymore. You need to stop doing that. I think it's a fantastic change. I think it's empowering y'all to use the information that you have and empowers you to use it in a positive way of showing what you're doing, showing what the stats are in the community. And I think that's a very good change. So no more claiming your number one using MLS stats. No more putting that type of advertisement out. So I, I hope that will make everybody uh, happy and uh, look forward to hearing your comments. Comment below. Let me know. And uh, y'all have a great weekend.